Aries, I hope you guys are doing great. This message is for July. This is the um, energy read for July. So I'm sorry I'm a little late here. I've had a lot of stuff going on right now. Family emergencies, airplanes, and um, I am here to do this reading. So <clears throat> um, this I'm considering energy from the universe, a universal supportive message for you, Aries. And this is your tarot for the time moving into um, July. Okay, and I know I'm a week late, but here we go. Um, supporting energy here. Face your fear. So with this and everything that I'm reading here, it's, it's important to do the thing that is uncomfortable. It's important to put yourself first and prioritize maybe what you've been putting off or maybe um, choosing to detach and move towards a different situation or to do something differently here. Your supportive energy as well is the nine of cups with the four of cups. Um, prioritizing your happiness, your emotional satisfaction, your emotional stability, and also prioritizing the people in your life that bring you ease, that bring you support emotionally. Those are the people that we're trying to be most so in alignment with. <clears throat> Those are the people that we want to connect with most. Uh, with the Four of Cups as well, it's interesting because um, we have these three cups over here, one over here. It's it's the way that I'm seeing this energy, um, Aries, is one where we're needing to make some considerable decisions in regard to who we want in our life at this time. And that can be a person, that can be a group of people, it can be a job, it can be a situation in our life where we're just like, I just can't do this anymore. So I'm going to prioritize my happiness over what I've been doing, what I've been committed to, what I've been giving my energy to that hasn't given back to me. <clears throat> You have marriage here, contractual agreements, and anxious attachment, fear of being alone, clinging. Some of you may be in a marriage. This is not for everyone, but if it resonates, you know, maybe the message is yours. And also, I'll try to read it a couple different ways. <clears throat> marriage can talk about, well, obviously married, but in contractual uh, agreement types, work situations, um, being part of a group or community where it's like you're, you, 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 uh, give some integral part, but maybe you're not satisfied or happy in it, but it's like, how do I get out of this now that this has been established? Um, anxious attachment is oftentimes <clears throat> where we are holding on to something because we don't want it to end or because we don't, it's, it's, it's kind of like holding on to potentially bad situations because we don't want to be alone or being in a relationship with somebody that isn't present with us, but we're going to try and try and try because we don't want to be alone. Um, you know, seeing a job situation in that same way, like, okay, well, I don't have anything else going for me right now. And this offers me some sort of stability. It offers me some sort of thing. So I'm just going to stay with it, but I'm really unhappy or it's not satisfying me or bringing me the level of security that I truly want. Okay. So there's an energy here where we're having to face our fear when it comes to really being mindful about putting things that are most nurturing to us first the connections that matter to us and that mean the most, that are most supportive, put them first. I feel you're having a little bit of a uh, struggle and tug of war with um, a person or a situation that's in your life right now that is, <clears throat> it's not being present with you or it's not being present enough to the level with you where it's like it's something that you can continue to take on, but we have this anxiousness of letting it go as well. So that's the universal message when we get to your tarot here. The overall energy, you have the Knight of Swords and the Ten of Swords. They both came out together here, okay? Um, and when this came out, it fell. And I was like, no, I'm just going to shuffle that back in because I was still shuffling. And then it... <laughs> The two of pentacles threw out, it fell out across the a table, and then these two came out again. So I was like, oh, okay, well, let me listen, and I'll put these back. So um, with that two of pence, though, it does tell me that there may be some sort of, like, choice here when it comes to new path, new direction, new opportunity, um, perhaps juggling a situation so you can get to the next. Uh, with the knight of swords and the ten of swords, this is... 
it's bringing freedom and clarity to a situation that has been incredibly problematic. This is the Ten of Swords often will show up when situations in our lives have been rather tumultuous, rather um, destructive, people lying, cheating, stealing, being problematic in our lives. It can also talk about situations where we've been betrayed or we've allowed ourselves to be betrayed by staying in them. Um, with, the ten, with, the, with the Ten of Swords, though, it's an ending to that. And with the Knight of Swords, it's a realization that, oh, I don't have to do this anymore. I don't have to be this way. Or maybe this is just you being very active in how you shut a situation down because it doesn't work for you anymore. It doesn't support your emotions. You would rather maintain the friendships and the connections that are most important to you with that Three of Cups. This is groups of people that are supportive of you that you can enjoy yourself with here it's almost as if we have another like uh, a, a situation to contend with where it's like we need to release it because it's not being supportive of us it's causing more damage than good in your community you have the ten of pentacles which i think is wonderful uh this is about your longest relationships this a, a lot of your reading here aries really does focus on the connections that you have with other people stabilizing them maintaining them and really seeking support from them especially if you're feeling like you are alone right now even if you're in a relationship or whatever this is um the ten of pentacles talks about being able to support or being uh, supported by the people that are in your life. This is family members, friends, people that you've known for five to 10 plus years, people who are solid in your life. Some of you, I, I, I when I was reading this earlier before we got, before I press uh, record, um, I kept hearing, um, I kept hearing damage control, but I kept hearing lean into them, lean into them. So some of you may be needing to lean into your family or the people who you consider your family. And this is primarily for support and for understanding for some sort of um, um, st emotional stability or just some sort of financial stability. Um, and I feel like you can do that. Uh, for some of you, you can do that. For some, maybe not. But it's it's asking you to lean into these people for whatever verbal, emotional, financial support that you can at this time um, for things to change here, for you to make a decision here. You're supported by this energy, okay? Um, for the communications in your life at this time, you have the Four of Swords. So this is you. I feel that this is you, Aries, very much voicing that you need a break. You need to have time for yourself to regenerate and to heal. You need to be, um, I almost want to say, um, <laughs> not just because attach, uh, anxious attachment is here, but I almost feel like you need to avoid a few things. Um, so like kind of exercising the act of being avoidant to certain things just because you can't take it on right now or you can't be active in that situation right now to be effective um, and it's hurt you already whatever this is has hurt you in the past it's it's been problematic for you um, then when it comes to your health you have the nine of cups in reverse you have the nine of cups here here it's in reverse with your health with health energy in the nine of cups in reverse this can talk about situations where the emotions are not healthy depression um lack of trust in your in your social circles and the people that you you know are closest to but emotionally it's it's distressed distraught it's feeling empty it's feeling like an uphill battle constantly and your needs are not being met but also you might not know how to meet those needs um it's emotional disarray so we need to calm this down we need to invest in the people that we trust and we need to be very mindful of how you engage moving forward here with something, something. I also feel for some of you, uh, before I started recording, this Nine of Cups energy, moving forward, some of you may be finding a healthier, more emotionally supportive situation elsewhere. Um, I feel that it may be something that is... I don't want to say foreign, like a foreign land, but maybe it's there's some distance to it, or maybe it's in a completely different region or different group of people or something of that nature, something that you haven't tried yet. I feel that there's some sort of breakthrough when it comes to your emotional um, stability 
regarding moving forward here, okay? In your work energy, you have the devil. The devil is an interesting energy just because it can talk about, and it's right under marriage here, contractual agreements. So some of you may be dealing with work situations that you either can't give out, get out of or there's some sort of like um, issue with the, the uh, type of situations going on in the work situation. Um, for some of you also to get away from this energy, you may also be like obsessively uh, charging into work. You may be obsessively like trying to get as much overtime as possible or trying to fulfill like as much so you can have a better outcome here. Um, if that is not what's going on, then there may just be some sort of toxic connection here with either a boss or with a work environment. Um, feeling unappreciated, but also not knowing how to step away from it, okay? Um, either way, though, the devil here within the job sector, this kind of asks us to be a little bit more mindful um, about the situation that we're actually in, because something about it is either preying upon us or we're using it to escape. Um, and if you're using it to escape mindfully, and if you're using to, it to escape in a very practical manner, keep going, keep going, because you did, and I didn't add the two of pentacles here. It did pop out at one point, but I put it back. Um, that energy, Aries, it's saying some of you may be needing to hear, some of you may be needing to like, you know, solidify or bolster or, or kind of pad your uh, finances so you can have something to move towards a different direction, okay? That's what the energy is presented here. For your love and your emotional connections, um, doesn't have to just be romantic, but re relationship connections. You actually got two cards here popping out. You have the lovers and you have the six of swords. So this situation, first of all, um, I want to read it a couple of ways, okay? With the lovers and the six of swords, if you and a partner are like having difficulty, it's seeking different alternatives. It's finding a different way to heal. Some of you may be dealing with um, a, a masculine partner who is kind of broken right now um, and you're taking care of a lot of situations in regard to that. That may be something that is requiring you to sacrifice a lot of yourself, but also when are you replenished here? It's asking for you to be replenished. It's asking for you to, to claim your power, you know, and um, be able to be strong in this situation if you are doing that with intention here. Um, for some of you as well, though, this is because the lovers can also represent a choice in your life, a rather big choice in your life. Um, and if you don't have a partner, but if this work situation is making sense, you may, considering the devil is right next to the lovers, um, you may have a toxic environment where it's like you're enmeshed, but you don't want to be. And so you're trying to find as many options for freedom as possible. Um, and in the past, it feels like you've kind of gone back to a situation, but now it's like you're rectifying that and making a choice to move forward in a completely different direction. Um, and yeah, um, so this is what I have for you. Um, I hope that this reading is helpful. Feel free to like, share, subscribe. And if you uh, want a personal reading, contact me at the altruistic mystic at gmail.com. The information is in the description box below. Thank you for those who have donated. It, it does matter for me and I appreciate it. And thank you for your time. I love you guys. Take care. Bye.